What's up guys, it's Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors. And today, I'm in the middle of my Christmas break and this video is gonna be all about trapping. The past week I've been trapping with my buddy Greg. He's been teaching me a lot about trapping. And in the past week we've caught two beavers and one coyote. I'll give you some pictures right here. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I I didn't film any of it because he's been teaching me how to trap everything and I just wanted to learn as much as I could. So I didn't film any of that, but I did bring the camera along for, I think one or two days, but we didn't catch anything too exciting. But one thing we did catch is a rabbit and something ate the rabbit. And I set the camera up on Greg resetting the trap. So he's gonna teach us how to set a dirt hole and his dirt holes work because we caught that coyote on a dirt hole. So I'll play that footage now. Darn. Got a rabbit and a coyote ate it. Well, we were wanting some rabbit fur for our traps. Yep. <laughs> Some cow prints. Yep. Darn. If that rabbit would have stayed out of there, well, we would have probably caught a coyote. That coyote would be back, so we have to catch him. Yep. Let's reset this trap. Are you just using that for bait? Sticking all this fur in that hole. Yeah. I got some extra ziplocks if you want to put some. Okay. Things. Put some antifreeze on this trap. Get that trap bedded good. Put some wax paper on it. Now he's just using wax paper for his pan cover. So dirt doesn't get under that pan and make it harder to set off. That is our coyote lure. Smells like skunk. Yeah. We just put some of that um, rabbit in there for bait and then we'll put some lure in. Here, bait. stick this up there and let the viewers smell that. Ooh, boy, that smelled bad. <coughs> we just want to put just a little bit of lure up here. You just put that on a Q-tip. There's our old Q-tip. We're going to put a little bit of bait in there to entice them. Okay. Now what kind of bait are you using or is it a secret? It's a secret. Top <laughs> secret. We don't, we don't tell her trapping secrets. We tell her trapping secrets. We just don't tell her bait secrets. <laughs> yeah. You just put some right in that hole with that um, rabbit fur and some of its intestines. This you, stuff don't smell near as bad as that lure does. Yeah, that lure will... You definitely don't want to take it in the house. Yeah. Or in your shop or in your Yeah, I actually garage. left some skunk lure in my um, meal one time and it smelled the whole shop up. Get rid of all of our tracks. There's our finished set. There's how Greg sets his dirt holes. Um, I like I said, I can't thank Greg enough. He's taught me so much over this past week. And for you guys.
guys that want a more detailed video step by step, that'll probably be coming out soon. We'll probably make that in a couple of weeks, but that'll be coming soon. And today, Greg is out of town, so we're gonna run my traps and his traps, and we're gonna run to the fur buyer. Let's do it. Now you bring wood dog trapping and you got coyote traps out there. How do you keep them in the mules so you don't catch them? So I have this rope. Then I have a little clip on there. Are you better? Then I just clip it to his collar. And then when, when we go in the house, I just unclip him and he gets out. Okay, let's go check the traps. Looks like a coyote was there. Darn. Well, must have been that one. Maybe there's one across the trail. Must have been that one. On to the next ones. Okay, the next ones are up here a little ways. Uh oh. One second. Fix my mic, it was bouncing around in frame. Nothing. Looks like something's been here, too. Darn it. Uh oh. Anything that was just a little spot of wet dirt that I saw. This has been there. On to the next one. There's that dirt hole. Nothing in it. Let's go check this bobcat trap up here. It looks like the door is down. Yeah, the door is definitely down, and we have a Raccoon! <laughs> you know what I mean? No, just one. One big one. Will you see him, Woody? You see him, Woody? Look at him. Look at him, Woody. Get him, Woody. Get him, Woody. Get him. He's a big one. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Look you guys around. There he is. Were you trying to eat my chicken? Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. He's not too happy. Okay. I'm going to run back and take care of him, and then on to the next one. Okay, guys. <laughs> Um, we're at where the place where my two bobcat traps are, and this one doesn't have anything, but we're gonna go check on the rooster's food and water real quick. Greg's place is uh, three miles down from our place, so we're heading down there, and we're, me and him's got some traps down there. You 
think we got anything? <clears throat> I hope so. Yeah, me too. You better hurry. Yeah, before the fur buyer leaves. If we have anything, we're just going to dispatch it and go sell it to them. And I have the coyote and a beaver and then the beaver pelt on the back of the truck and I'll have that one tanned. I sure hope we have something. What do you think? think you got anything? I think we got one coyote and one raccoon. You think? Yep. These coyotes are making me mad. So what we have right here is, there's a trail coming right here, and then we put that beaver carcass, and it looks like something, and then the trap's right here. It looks like something drug a beaver foot out, or that. And then it looks like something came in here, walked through here, and took a, it pooped right there, and the trap is right there. Burn it. Okay, last two traps, and the beaver traps, and oh, last three because I have a muskrat fox trap over there. We'll check that here in a minute, and. I don't know if there's any muskrats in here, but our first beaver trap down here. Okay, here's the beaver trap. Nothing in it. It's right there. Water's kind of iced over. So have you caught a beaver in this trap? Yeah, we've caught two beaver in this trap. Um, the two beaver we caught were in this shop and we piled these sticks up here and put this rod in and then right on this stick we put some beaver caster bait so let's go check the other beaver trap well that's what we think it then comes in right here and they have a little see how it there's a little den in there. So they're building their den up under a county road, so we gotta get rid of them. So Jack's mostly a predator trapper at our house, but beaver are more of a nuisance. They're really hard on trees and land. So this is really his first experience nuisance trapping. Yeah. So it's pretty neat. They caught the two down here and Maybe yeah. that might be all of them, but yeah. they've really been tearing it up down here. So, if you walk over here, they have a, well they had, I broke it the other day and they haven't fixed it, but they had a little dam right here. And then they have a bigger one over here, and there's some giant trees dropped down over there. I'll show you those in a minute. Let's check out trap. Oh, yeah. Trap's right there. <laughs> it's the first time we tried that. <laughs> okay, so here's another one of the names. Right here. Hang on, let me wipe, wipe our lens off. Wow. Jeez. We did so much damage and there's another one about this size over there. Like I said, nuisance trapping. That, yeah. They really tore this tree up. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. And then my muskrat trap is right there. 
What do you have in it for bait? An apple. It's an apple I cut in half. I've heard they like those I'm, off YouTube videos. I'm not coming over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, we don't have anything. It looks like looks like I made the two most boring trapping videos ever. We haven't been catching anything on camera. We definitely aren't off to a good start with <laughs> yeah. the trapping videos, but we'll run up to the fur buyer now and Jack's got some supplies he wants to buy. Yeah. And we'll go from there, but hopefully... Hopefully we can get some good footage there and show you what everybody else has been catching. We may run the traps tomorrow on this video too, see if we can catch something exciting. That yeah. way everybody's not just watching us check empty traps. Yep. So let's head up there. Let's go. Before we get to the fur buyer, I'm going to show you what all we're bringing to him. So, this is my beaver pelt. Um, Greg's helped me skin that out. And then, we're going to sell this guy to him. Look at that big tail. And then, my coyote. One coyote. One coyote. That beaver is so soft. Was this beaver bigger? Yeah, that one was bigger, and it was like on this bottom. See how it's kind of silvery? Oh. And it was more silver than that. I liked how it looked, so that's why I got that one. And the coyote's been in the freezer. <laughs> so that's why. It... He's, he's a little frozen. So, um, we just rolled up at the fur buyer, and look at this trailer full of coyotes and bobcats. <laughs> Doesn't look like you brought much. No. That was my friend Xander's coyotes would get slowed up and he ended up with a bunch as you saw. I, there was a bunch. I hope, hope we can bring a load in like that this year sometime. But there was a bunch. Oh, that sun. Well, we're back out here today. We didn't catch anything at my place. That's a bummer. But um, we're back here at the two bobcat traps. And look who we brought today. AJ, you think we're going to catch a bobcat? I don't know. It's pretty sunny today and it's so sunny to my eyes. Yeah. Well, we're going to, we're pulling up on these two bobcat chaps and I think AJ thinks we're going to get something. <laughs> okay. Need some help? Ouch. Yeah, something hard for me. Anything? Nope. Nope. And we have our chicken left in there. He ate all the feed, but we did some more. Good thing. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging on a video that we didn't catch anything. And my buddy Greg called me and he was checking the traps and we got something. So let's go check it out. Okay. Here's what we got. Look at that guy. Oh. Back to it, Kit. Oh, yeah. Now I got us a nice little bobcat. Where's my trap at? Has 
crazy, so we caught a bobcat. We actually had two traps here, and we're searching for the other trap. We can't find it right now. But, there he is. We think he's a Tom, but we're gonna go ahead and dispatch him. But I'm glad we actually caught something on this video, so hopefully it wasn't that boring to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Go down there, ring the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next video.